And welcome back to the extra long run where we are playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3. No. Oh. You know how folks are when their flame clock runs low. They'll come on us like starved beasts. Yeah, I know. But I can't just turn a blind eye. Is that? All right. So yeah, these guys definitely gonna aggro at us. I'm probably gonna get all three of them here, so. A bit of close quarters, uh, as far as the camera here, and I don't really like it. And here comes the other one. At least we only had two on us. Uh, at most two on us at any given time. They are dying fast. It means there were no holes in my strategy. That's annoying when that happens. It's like obviously the tracks are gonna keep going, right? Unless they just kind of jumped off. Judging by how the tracks stop here, it seems that this is where those soldiers pass through. Through here? But how? Hmm. Doesn't look easily traversable, does it? Yeah, I can't see us getting across there anytime soon. We could always take a detour. Look, this way. Yeah. Thanks, Tyon. Like I said, we can't afford to be hanging around here. Come on, we haven't got all day. Nimble little so and so slided down here on a rope. I wonder if they could teach me to do that. They probably could, and they probably are going to. That is going to be one of the goals of this. Uh... Oh, geez, where'd you come from? That's going to be one of the goals of this uh, hero quest. By the end of it, we're going to know how to traverse those ropes. Which is good, because we've seen several of them already. I don't think these uh, butterfly creatures are going to bother us. You think you're all that, do ya? No Well, this uh, little side route was worth it.
Sun's up. This is crazy. There was a colony here? That's right. This is an abandoned colony. Please listen to us. We didn't come here to fight you. Mm. We can free you from your flame clock. Free us? You don't have much time left on yours, do you? We can help you with that, so if you just... Stop attacking you? Yeah. Mm. All right. I'll hear you out. Uh... Thank you. That was easier Please, than I thought. Come in. They're still wary of us. Can't let our guard down. Always nice to see a new face. Follow me, Tao. Not a lot of people around. And yeah. he is more or less. It's quite unlike any other colony. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna steal your crops. Yeah. No big deal. Yeah, I'm looking at that flame block. It's basically empty. Even for a place this tumble down, the people here seem so resigned. Yeah, it hmm. feels like it's completely cut off from the outside world. I've seen a few colonies with dwindling flame clocks before, but this one is especially bizarre. It's like they're not trying to survive here at all. Do you get that impression? Back when I was stationed at Lambda, I'd heard rumors about Colony Tau. What did they say? The deep in the forest, there's a colony with some very peculiar customs and traditions. This is my first time seeing it in reality, but I never expected it to be so run down. Did you have any dealings with it? None at all. This is just hearsay from Commander Izzard. Anyway, we should hurry. Let's smash the flame clock and free everyone. It being an abandoned colony, we are continually starved of sufficient life sources. Wait, are you the commander? That's right. Sorry, I failed to tell you before. I am Juniper, and it's my job to lead Colony Tau. If that's so, then surely you must know who we are. I'm afraid I know nothing. Huh. We have no need of such information. Juniper told us we'd welcome you in, whoever you might turn out to be. So, that's the rule. We don't ask questions. But you attacked us back there. Our scouts told us about some monsters in the forest they've never seen before. So, we sent them out on a hunt. But then they bumped into you en route. They must have figured it'd be more efficient to get you out of the way first. So, contrary to our plan, we were made to retreat. Oh yeah? What about your consul? Where are they hiding? I told you, this is an abandoned colony. Our consul really visits us. You're in such a strange situation. All the more reason to get you out of this predicament. I think you guys are getting the wrong end of the stick here. <sighs> it's true. We aren't afraid of Colony Tau's flame clock running out. All it means is the end of our days gazing at our ever-diminishing supply. But you could die! Uh-huh. As if we just let you waltz in and break our flame clock. We all have to perish someday. If our lives should expire, then we'll sink into silence, darkness, oblivion. We'll return to the Earth. <sighs> yes, but... You can't just... The land will take us. And we will simply be. That's how it is at Colony Tau. No one will ever think of us. And yet here we are, slowly but surely, 
we are withering. We don't always find the nutrition that we need to live. If Colony Tau cannot accumulate the vital flames it needs, then it proves only that we were too weak. And in nature, the weak are destined to perish. The logic would dictate that nature is pushing you to become stronger. If we set you free, you won't have to worry about all this crap. We neither worry nor fear for what may come to pass. We've already lost so many of our friends and allies. And every time we return to their bodies to the Earth, such will be our fate. What's the point of fearing the inevitable? We know we're gonna die. What's wrong with us living the way we always have? But how do you live without hope? It will spell the end of the story that our predecessors weaved for generations. A tale cut short. I would argue that it feels a little melancholy. In that sense, if we were to be freed from the flame clock, then... Juniper! Bad news! Tell me. The monsters are coming straight for the colony, and they already took one of us down. No. They came all the way here. We'll join you. Always nice to see a new face. Kind of a nihilistic co uh, colony here we have. Mm. Juniper, we need orders. This is perfectly fine. We'll defeat them right here. Juniper, what are you? Ask us later. We'll back you up. Thank you. I'll fight to the best of my ability as well. Here we go! And she has indeed uh, joined our party. Looks like she is deep. Let's go ahead and uh, target. Honorine, that's quite the name. Oh dear. Uh, we don't need to lose healers. I go stand in this circle. I don't know what it does. I'm too far to do anything. Amazing. I'm glad that attack is working for us this time. I don't know what art follow-up means. Yeah, let's go ahead and use a chain attack. It's completely unnecessary and I'm just gonna pick for random ones here. I think I particularly need to strategize too much here, considering that it's just one regular strong enemy.
Oh. I appear to have accidentally um, gone for the Ouroboros. Oh, time for overkill, I guess. Okay, he's still alive. Thank the flames. I'm so glad we made it in time. I'm so glad. Again, accept my thanks. We couldn't have done this without you. Don't worry about it. <sighs> I suppose it's strange of me to talk about the laws of nature when I fear losing my friends. Not at all. Honestly, that seems like the most natural thing of all. When you told me that you would release us from the flame clock, I thought that if you really were telling the truth, it would make life easier. But at the same time, I began to hate the fact that I was looking for a way out. Looking up at our clock, seeing the life ebbing away, I'd already accepted my fate. And letting go of that status quo, wretched though it was, after so long, I was scared of what might happen if we did. Juniper. Noah, your words at the time seemed so appealing to me. I could not destroy the collective efforts that became the colony and everything it represents with my own two hands. But then you said you would destroy it for us. We'd be guilt-free. If that isn't appealing, then what is? You must have been aware of how tragic it is to simply await death. That's why you invited us, isn't it? Even now, I'm not afraid of dying. But I hated the idea of losing those I hold dear. When I saw my friend lying there, I remembered what you told me, and for a brief moment, I felt the grip of fear. I felt so weak and helpless, yet at the same time, I didn't want to let go of my dear friend. So I must have closed myself off. I stopped thinking closed my eyes and covered my ears. Perhaps I was simply waiting for the inevitable release. Even so, we have to keep thinking. That's right. Even if there are things we'd rather not see, we still need to look. And breaking out of your shell, scrambling in desperation for a way to escape despair. That's not what I call being weak. You've defended this place for so long. Why? Because you're strong. And once you're no longer shackled by the rules of the flame clock, you can accept a different reality. You can become stronger still. I know it. We can. You can. It won't be easy. Far from it. But we'll help you. Juniper, it's your call. We've made it this far thanks to you. Yes, I suppose so. If... There is a possibility that you can release us from the clock, then please. And if not, it's not like anything's changed. <laughs> Very true. If you can't break it, I can live with that too. Nothing changes without a reason, without a cause. Perhaps this event will teach me to see things in a new light. Here we go! So are we just not going to need to deal with the console here? Agnes warning is uh, going up though. Yeah, barely anything came out of that flame clock. What a surprise. I see acceptance is actually surprisingly easy when it comes down to it. I think it probably is, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry if this seems rude, but could I ask another favor of you? Sure. 
I'd like to learn much more of the world, become a stronger individual. To that end, is there any chance I could accompany you? What do you say, guys? We could certainly do with someone of Juniper's caliber. It'd be reassuring to have you on board. You're very welcome to join. Is your colony gonna be okay, though? Can they get on without you? Colony Tau needs to undergo change, too. We need to extend our knowledge and grow. So I'd like you to take me on a trip, somewhere far away, and show me something new. A journey of discovery, huh? I guess that's another thing we need in order to grow. Might be an idea to send some of our younger recruits out, too. Could be a good lesson. It's time to breathe new life into our colony. Let us break free from the chains that once bound us. I guess I'm still hanging about, though. Can't have us all gallivanting about the place. Your console really doesn't bother to show up, huh? Even after we broke the flame clock? You'd think they'd know. Better this way, if you ask me. Still, we shouldn't rule out the possibility that they'll make trouble for you. If something happens, you tell us immediately, okay? Sure, can do. We'll be counting on you. Well, we don't have all day. I think it's about time we made tracks, no? You're right. Time to move, then. Well, then, everyone? Ah, don't worry about us. You know we can handle ourselves. We'll prove that Colony Tau can be so much more. Yes, I'm sure it will be. Off you go, then. Skedaddle. The colony's staying right here, waiting for your return. And there we go, Colony Tau's flame clock is no more. To help Tau evolve and grow, Juniper decided to join the party. After teaching us rope sliding, finally. It's a join the party, there we go. Uh, Stalker. Don't know if I like the name of that class, but sure. Who's getting it? That would be Noah. Universe class, class stalker, will attack her. Deals low damage to individual targets, but excels at managing aggro. Work with allies to make good use of the art follow-up. Rope sliding. This is a traversal skill that Juniper taught the party. It lets you grind on ropes set up on a field, allowing you to descend smoothly and quickly from high places. The art of flow. With the art of flow taught to you by Juniper, you can cancel arts into other arts without using fusion arts. Successfully cancelling fills the chain gauge slightly. Everyone ranks up. Always nice to see a new face. Uh, let's see. Eight, four, eight, seven, four. My stomach's growling. Oh dear. You guys are without an offseer. That's uh Yeah, I would imagine that a colony right next to the castle, like the enemy's castle, is a good strategic place. What you gotta say, Roland? 50 glare armor dreams. We have another thing? We just learned how to rope slide, so...
Oh yeah, I'm entirely aware of that. I've seen a few already. Huh. Would you believe it? Yeah, and uh it's also good that y'all have already started on the whole crops thing. Always nice to see a new face. Cause that's gonna be kind of an adjustment for all the other colonies, but uh what you got? this one already has that taken care of. And I'm stealing them all. <laughs> okay, we have a couple of conversations to have I'm here. Starving. Got anything I can eat? I suppose we can order food first. Enemy drop boost. Mm, that's good. This has me raring to go. It's not exactly the most ideal thing to have, but that does give us an additional recipe for banana. Ooh, a new recipe! Can't wait. And we have a couple of discussions to, to do here. Two of them will lead into quests. Um, about that thing. We haven't even used one yet. Yeah, we have seen some in the Fornus region. Oh, that sucks. It's a pretty good idea if you ignore the guy that said it. These stocks are pretty tight. Really? Fair enough. Got a pact with the Turkins. The Turking. Okay. Now Turkin Alliance. Right then, strategy meeting. So you actually do burials then. Fair enough. So your officer has just not had a job to do effectively. the fields. I see. Send off our officer. Here. Okie I'll do that first, I think. 
Everyone got their strength back. It's quite the path that, uh, This is putting me through here. Oh, got a rare dude all right here. This way, please. Run, running all over the Ferranas here. It'll be faster if we climb up this way. Ooh. Don't mind if I help myself. <laughs> Elevator. We've never been here before. Yeah, busting. I'm not gonna take that elevator right now because that's not where we're going. Once again, the guardian code. Or of all, the offseer code. Is there a good use for that? Okay, so. Let's see how this works. I'm on it. That's the way. And that's pretty much exactly the the device that they were talking about. You would not see me do something like that in real life. No, thank you. Hmm. There's like something in there. Some of these item placements in this game sometimes. Yeah, zip lining would be a lot safer. Container where? Oh, over there. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I see it. Can't Say, get to it though. Woohoo! This gets the blood pumping, eh? We've so got to do that again! Oh, don't worry, we're going to be doing that multiple times. Much to my chagrin. Whoa, got a rare dude all right here. I've never traveled so far from my colony before. You'll really? do just fine, Juniper. Let's go. Let me we're, check. We're not even really that far. Turned around. We're unstoppable with you around, Senna. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. Where does our path take us? There's a lot to explore here, but uh, ultimately, I guess we're going in a very specific direction. Many of my friends fell. Let me check. It appears we can pass through here.
Oh, that's a lot of them. Is this where the fight was? Yes, the battle was around here. Your heart numbered. We managed to hold on our, our own at first, leveraging our advantages, but we can't hardly argue with numbers in the end. My regards that uh, the rear guard's actions saved so many of us. Even so, there's no way out to be caught in a place like this. Looks like the the monsters have made themselves a home here now. Can't do any sending off like this. Let's get rid of them before they become a problem then. Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. That sounds good. Come on, where's your energy? Let's whoop their asses! Let me hear you say it. Uh, let's, uh, smack their behinds. Yeah, close enough. Let's go. Strong enemies heading this way. Looks tough. We'll go Uh, we're definitely going to need to uh, target here. Also, Yumi's almost dead, which is very bad for me. Massive damage with that boss attack. Down they go. I think we should be able to send them now. There are so many monsters here. I wouldn't have been able to clear all to clear them all out without you. Thank you. Okay, let's begin. Please give them a peaceful sleep. Yeah, for sure. We can't just leave this be. Aha, so that light was you. We thought it might have been sending off. It looks so soft and gentle. Yeah, I can all rest easy now. The old commander died here too, and was left where he fell. Oh, really? He was the first to fall. He's the one who promoted Juniper and ensured, ensured our new commander's escape. He was so strong and kind, I idolized him. He was always thinking of the colony. He helped Juniper get to safety and fought to the better end. So he promoted you to commander. Unusual, but given the circumstances, I can see why. Yes, you carry on his legacy. I think that's a wonderful thing. Perhaps he at the time understood how we operated. He worked hard to make himself useful. He was very gentle, that old seed. Much like Graziana in that respect. Did you just call me gentle? He caught my maybe rough around the edges, but he takes his duty seriously. It's like the old commander. We all inherited something of the commander. The whole of Colony Town. You can see him in your strength and kindness too, Juniper. 
That's why he named you successor. He fought so hard to protect the colony he inherited. Yes, I suppose you're right. But after meeting Noah and the others, I see there's still so much there's so much more that we can change. We have to look for new trails to blaze instead of stagnating as we are. We'll help as much as we can too. Whatever Tracy you take, Commander, we'll follow. We believe in you. It's good to hear. Thank you. We'll all have to band together to build to build a new town. And we'll make our late friends proud. Colony Tau's Offseer, previous commander, and other fallen who are seen off by Noah and Neo. May their spirits rest in peace. Always nice to see a new face. And we're right on the verge of uh, of a uh, brain please work affinity level. So I noticed that the um, the level requirement for this quest is 41. Huh. Would you believe it? <laughs> Time for a climb. Excuse me. Oh yeah, so the the level requirement is 41. This is probably one of the ones where we literally have to like collect a bunch of items and uh, bring them back. We still have one of those quests open for uh, one of the free columns. Hopefully we can clear that one out at some point as well. Get out. There we Oh, jeez. Why are you leading me through here? These are wolves, right? Yeah, they're going. No, they're squars, but they're they're going to aggro on us. Literally a hopeless fight. Android gear sounds like a brand of clothing that uh, interfaces with mobile phones. I believe that hey, one was no Neo. We should be able to climb up with that. No kidding. Let's see what's up here. What's up here is more death. I think we're going back. Back 
ass into it or else. Hmm. Never quite sure when that one item on the ledge ends up being the one that we're going to need. Really? You want us to jump down here? That container. Yeah, we've seen it before. Hey, these guys are not nearly as dangerous. This just feels like an incredibly confusing um, area to navigate. Is this like a rare thing? Shall we deal with it? And it's like I said, it's kind of like running through an MC Usher painting. But I guess if you if you've been here for pretty much all of your life you're going to eventually learn how to navigate. Plans, please. Okay, we're almost to the uh, to the call because you can uh -huh. see the affinity come up. Let's go have a chat with Roland. Done yet. I mean, especially since you kind of have a new lease on life at this point. Nectar, Eunice, Turk and Grass, Tiny Roses, Clear Rubber Jeans, 50 of each. Alright, now to gather the offerings. The colony holds some deeply alien customs. It looks like we've already gotten. We've possibly already gotten most of them. Also, it's interesting that uh, it's letting us choose what we want to do. Also, you seem to have an additional quest.
Oh, okay. Now you had some additional supplies. Hmm. We still don't have clothes to it. There's also a field quest uh, somewhere uh, around here. Is there a good use for that? I do want to see where this elevator goes. I see. We've just had a dealing with the merry-go-nowhere. barely keep my balance when I'm like doing exercises. How about don't look down? I feel though that the path that it's leading me down here is just gonna take me right to the Turkins. Which I would rather not deal with their wrath. Excuse me. Uh, okay, so we're fighting something. An imminent illusion. What level are you? 34. Alright. Comparably. That's your story. It's kind of showed up here. You always put down these arc follow-up things too far for me to actually do anything. But... 
I am something that isn't an illusion yet, but definitely <laughs> is definitely going to be now. Whatever it is, it's disengaging. That's a good question, Senna. Yeah, no kidding. The mysterious loveness has disappeared, returning once it came. But what is the significance of its arrival in the first place? Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Kevez and Agnes are both fully mobilized. We'll have to pick them off one at a time. Ooh. Yes, please. I'll just soak all this up. Give me lettuce. Whoa, Give me all the lettuce. Right here. Uh. I'm glad the characters are having fun with that, because I, I'm sure not. Oh dear. What is emergency? I need more dinner. Okay, fair enough. I'm curious but... to see what tactics you have in place surrounded by so much nature. What say we go hunting together? I'm fairly well versed in that. Oh. Take like one step closer. I'm just gonna lie here and you can't stop me. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Man, we have leveled up so much today. I feel stronger. we go. And we just barely cannot create this new recipe. Yeah, let's do this one. Should la should last us for the rest of the stream. I may have eaten more than my fill. 
Oh dear. It's probably worth saving at this point too. Just part of the protocol, innit? Any opportunity to rest is welcome. Na, na, na. <laughs> Gosh! Food is entirely missing! Manana not even gets single fill of stomach yet! I just saw you stuffing your cheeks. The rations should have been divided equally. Manana walked more than you used to today. <laughs> Tommy was rumbly grumbly. Not much we can do, though. Not now. Manana, look, we've still got a ways to go. So you're gonna have to get used to rationing stuff out, okay? Man. Completely gone. <gasps> What's up? What's wrong? What did you say was gone? I think she was yelling about food. What? No way. For real. French sure did not just put elsewhere and forget. Nah, -uh. I'm positive it was right here. Indeed, I checked it myself before I turned in. Don't tell me someone scoffed the whole lot. Ah, oh, no way. Doesn't usually... Isn't there usually someone who watches over camp while everyone else is sleeping? Leave no plate unpolished. That awful, false accusation! Not even Manana ever stooped to such crude, vulgar behavior. All right, all right, we get it. Just chill out already. Manana refused to become frosty. This now matter of honor and dignity. For starters. I know Manana was feeling a bit peckish, but she can't have eaten up the lot. So who then? Hey, check it. A feather? But what kind? I found tracks here. Nobody's blaming you. These footprints. I think they're turkey. Mystery solved then. A turkey feather. So they raided our supplies. Lands can stop apology. Honor and dignity of Manana left in tatters for a vile and faceless accusation. Come on, please lighten up already. All accusations aside, we're really strapped for food. Guess we'll have to go foraging. I concur. Luckily, this area is pretty bountiful all in all, so we might not be too hard-pressed. Well, better get to it. Right. Okay. Anyway, that clearly too much eat. Manana is bottomless pit. Manana? What? Well, have Riku know Manana is dainty eater. Not denying. Lies and deceit. On this day your days, Manana will have retribution! <sighs> Looks like we've got ourselves a runner. Slipped out from the castle. Not running very fast. He could get in touch with Ouroboros. Won't that impact our previous arrangements? Not to worry. If he does make contact, they'll come. <laughs> really? Ouroboros are simply like that. Hmm. Well, if you say so, 
We can probably take your word. Right, O? Mmm, certainly. Right, O. We probably can take his word. Since we're already out here gathering food, we can think about building up a reserve of stuff that'll keep us for a while. That's a good idea. What will that be? Mushrooms, nuts, that sort of thing? I'm on it! By the way, when the Turkins got into our, to, when the Turkins got into our camp, did no one seriously notice? Nope, not even slightly. Not even a tiny, not even a tiny little bit. Riku was busy sawing logs all last night. I'm sorry, you guys. You walked a lot yesterday. I'm sure you were just super pooped. You never miss something as obvious as jerking footsteps on a good day, Mimi. I think it's safe to say we are all posh, uh, partially guilty of negligence this time. Indeed. However, we should also reconsider our storage rules for the future. Ah, well, it's what a, what a, uh, ha. It's what under the bridge now. No, and no point talking long except the Yarden's already bolted, am I right? Just get through the searching already. Very well. Hey, is that? An Anlude. Uh, an Anlude. That was Senna. Hard to fill up on mushrooms alone. I say we hunt us some meat as well. Woohoo! I love me some hunter gathering. There is um, meat is a lot of quests happening all at the same then. time. Yeah, that quest is still happening. Whoa, got a rare dude all right here. Scratch that. Complete stolen provi- Oh, okay. Scratch that. But so this is actually what I have to be doing for the uh, main quest. Sniper road on sniping us here. Sniper no sniping. You must be a pro of the caber toss. Much relief. Glad Riku had just power frame last night. Should perform 30% better than leading brand. What's she on about, leading brand? I get that we're weaker than Agniant, so we need this to get on more of an even footing in combat, but... 
friends say but. Why but? We just need oomph, you know, like kapow, sort of thing. Sound effects not help comprehension. Oh, you know. Like that doodad Noah has. Doodad? Ujima flip. <laughs> you know what that I sure mean. is a word. Don't make me say it. What friend want to use for? Uh, well, I... Not on your own by any chance. Uh, if so, Riku have to pass. Oh, come on. So Riku gets right. <sighs> Backing up. This plan of Lance. Noah privy to it? <sighs> Make decision without consult allies? Bad form. But he's our enemy. And who decide that? You're never say himself? That he enemy? He did. I did. In absence of complete picture? Well, but he's different. So after me just once, Lance make up mind? <sighs> then what are we gonna do? Only thing friends can. Keep moving forward. How's that gonna solve anything? Should never have asked. Also, do that, not that kind of thing. Hey, should we go check out the other side too? We still need a whole bunch more foodstuffs and all anyway. Ooh. Hey, look! That's a really odd-looking tree. Meh. On the very last frame, I was able to take that picture. Oh, wondrous day! Cannot believe eyes! It's fruit of legend, bright fig! Bright fig? What's a bright fig when it's at home? Let me guess. They're stupidly delish. Oh, guaranteed! Deliciousness is such that friends will be picking up jaws from ground for weeks! Uh-oh. What's up? Are they rotten or something? Tragedy strike! These not ripe for plucking yet, let alone eating! If eat now, bitter flavor cause agonizing death! Huh? I don't know. They look tasty enough to me. Bright fig not good for eating even after full yellow. Still have to wait another year before able to enjoy. That's too long. Man, so much for that. Never mind. You can always come back next year. It's legendary, right? You wouldn't want to miss out. Guess we'll have to. But, Mia, a year from now? Mm. Even if I might not get to do it. You guys can still have a taste. Why wouldn't you... Whoa. Love, you've got to stop being so detached about it. You'll just get everyone feeling guilty. Oh, sorry, sorry. Please don't mind me. Don't mind me, she says. Of course we're going to mind you, doll. Hey. How can you be so casual about it? What do you mean, casual? I assure you, I'm not. I'm actually pretty flustered. You defo don't look it. If it looks that way to you, well, that's because I shouldn't even be here. What do you mean? This life's a gift from a dear friend. It should have been me. I should have died out there that day. So this isn't really me. I'm just living on her time. Maybe that's why. Hmm.
Somehow, that reminds me of us. I know. When we're interlinked, I can see a glimpse. Inferno. Destruction. Land screaming. Noah's memories. What if... Bear with me. That friend of yours, she showed up like Euron. As an enemy? As an enemy. I suppose... I'd want to know same as Lance. Simply, why? Gotcha. I figured. Mm. Why is it that you gave your life for mine? Why? You could have lived longer yourself, me, Abby. Why did you do it? So her name was me, Abby. Sorry. Guess it's a sensitive subject. <laughs> it's funny. I thought I had it all locked down. Thank you. Whatever a reason, I'd accept it. Facts. Whatever the truth may be. And that's it. No looking back. Well, my de facto partner's running full steam ahead. I mean, I can't very well go backwards. Can I now? Your partners now, eh? <laughs> I suppose you are at that. Hmm? I wonder, how does he see things? I think there's more food to find over there. Damn. Born in deep today. Ooh, shiny. Yep. Somehow get out of that without either of those mobs noticing us. You're just gonna lie there and let us take this uh, container. Hi. You're ready here, though. There were no holes in my strategy.
this. We ate those yesterday, didn't we? Must be lots of them in the woods. Seems so. Oh, well, that explains it. That explains what? At first glance, it looks just like a kelp mushroom, but in fact, this was called a uh, nighty night, causing overpowering drowsiness. When it just good name, cool. All right. Uh -huh. <sighs> so you're saying we ate this, and that's why we all slept clean through the Turk and steel food. That's my working hypothesis, anyway. I'll go and warm you, yeah. Man, those banana who put in dish should have known better. We all picked the ingredients together, so it's not like you. Uh, so, so it's not like it's you that was at fault. But then banana blow up on hands and say many, many lots of mean things. Very deeply sorry. Hey. It's all in the past. More importantly, all this strutting around and foraging has given me a wicked appetite. We've got enough now, Shirley. Let's get let's go back to camp and make it into something edible. Yeah. And now that agree also. Party gathered up a healthy amount of provisions. Return to the sparkling pool camp. We've rounded up plenty of ingredients. Looks tasty. This amount to keep us going for a while. Also, this area of the woods is definitely a lot more woodsy. channel right there. I want it. No obvious way to get up there though. All right then. That should be us good for food now. Yeah. Looks like that'll last us a little while. <gasps> What's wrong, Mia? <gasps> Who's there? Come out! Huh? Oliaris! Yeah, much better. I owe you. What are you doing over this way? I thought you were going to the castle. Yeah. No, I went. And this is what I got for my trouble. So, tell us, what happened? But why, Your Majesty? Why would you attack Colony 4? You came into contact with Ouroboros, did you not? <gasps> I'd call it burning out the contagion. C contagion You're implying we've been contaminated? Have you not? 
You've been removed from the protection of the flame clocks. You no longer need to wager your lives in battle. Who struggles not in life deserves not to live. That is the compact of our nation, and moreover, the truth. Ah, so you're conservative. Majesty, my queen. Yet, to punish you all for fate's machinations would be a misstep. Therefore, I shall grant you a chance. What must I do? Eliminate Ouroboros. <gasps> you want me to... Noah and the rest? Naturally, I am cognizant of the fact that the enemy is wily and capable. I have no intention of sending you alone. <gasps> Kamaravi! Wha why are you here? Ethel. Uh, how? But you're not even on the same side. Entertainment. Pardon? Those who have been released from the Flame Clock Sacred Indenture cannot be affected by the Mobius Iris. To bring you back under control, I would have to force your rebirth. But that wouldn't be nearly as fun. The power you two wield surpasses even some of our consuls. I have great hopes for you. Ethel, Kamaravi. They gave Ethel and Kamaravi new Phronesis. They've been made specifically to kill Ouroboros. The tune-up might take a little while. Though, you don't have much time. The two of them are after your heads. You're sure of this? Really? That's why I came here. To give you warning. They already know your rough position. That's how I found you in the first place. What's this? Plans of the castle. They were tuning up my Pharonis when I happened upon them. They include schematics for the Annihilator. Take them and go back to Colony 4. Commander, you mean... If they can find us wherever we are, I want to at least secure a way for us to put up a fight. Am I wrong? <laughs> but, Mom, we can't very well. Also, about Noah's group. If you happen across them, tell them this. I will use lethal force, yes? What? Furthermore, tell them I wish them all the best of luck. I hope they reach their goal. Commander? Oh, Ethel. She sounds serious. And still... telling us to just... keep going? Well, that's Ethel for you. Hard-headed as they come. Won't she get into trouble? Because of you slipping out? Hardly. I'm just one missing foot soldier. No one's gonna pay it any mind. 
Ah, huh? but your wounds earlier. Uh, truth is, air from falling off a cliff on the way here. It was dark as snuff. <laughs> Are you tucking my wings? Well, anyhow, it's nothing for you lot to fret over. This is our problem now. You focus on achieving your objective. We appreciate it. Ah, but man, you know, why's the commander got to duke out with you lot, eh? And why was our foe, Kamaravi, there? The Ashbar? Feels like the whole world's turned on its head. I mean, it kind of has. Alrighty. I'm heading back. Got it? You lot scoot on along out of these parts. There's still some time before they're done tweaking. And with you on foot... We're not running away. Not after all this. Huh? I'm staying too. What? Really? That light we saw... a while back. If that... if that had come from the Annihilator... Even if we were to somehow reach our destination... If it was at the cost of all your lives... It wouldn't be worth it. <sighs> Surviving like that... I couldn't bear it. Mimi... Mia... Boliaris... The castle plans... Can you share them? Noah... You're not... You wouldn't. The fact remains... It was us that destroyed your clock. Therefore... Yes, but that's... Either way... I think it's clear at least part of the blame lies with us. It's only fair, then, that we destroy this Annihilator. Agreed? You for real? I'd be up for a little detour. Same here. You did offer us shelter. That creates an obligation. No way around. Someone here needs to keep friends in line. Count Riku in. If plan on fighting, we'll need first-rate chef, too. Oh. And that's it. No looking back. Well, my de facto partner's running full steam ahead. I mean, I can't very well go backwards. Can I now? Oh, fine. Go on, then. You wouldn't make it far inside the castle without a proper healer anyway. Uni. Thanks, guys. You're the best. I'll head back to Colony 4, in case the shit hits the fan. Good luck, then, to all of you. Yeah, we'll be all right. I'm honestly still surprised to see Remember, we're up against the castle. That war Get too up. close and we may come under fire. What's our plan? I think we'll be able to manage as long as we're careful. Come to think of it, you used to go to the castle for Offseer training once a year, right, Noah? The Black Fog. Is there much there? There's actually quite a bit. Around this time, the whole area is shrouded in it. They couldn't find us in that cave in Neil Valley, right? And you think we can repeat that? Maybe. Using the fog to approach is clever, but risky. What if an annihilation event occurs? You know... I hadn't really given it much thought up until you mentioned it, but oddly, it hasn't been happening. Seriously? I'm not sure why. Behind the castle, there's an ether deposit being mined in an area facing a lake. The ether being obtained there is then delivered into the castle through a freight entrance. So that's where we'll get our sneak on. There won't be anyone in the containers. If we can just get to them, without being spotted... Then we can get into the castle. Okay, let's assume we do give the guards the slip. 
What do we do once we're inside the place? Tyon, the sensors. What was the Colony 4 soldier's search radius with the fog out? Their scanning range, I put in the ballpark of 15 metric. Look here. In the reserve area, there's a maintenance hatch that leads directly to the outer wall. If we make it through here and get to the main housing, it'll land us in front of the Annihilator. Less chance of being spotted by troops outside, too. We can do this. There's one concern. The castle is the Queen's residence. What if we're found by the consuls? Then I guess we'll have a fight on our hands. But it's not like we don't have a retreat. Here. In Keves, after a homecoming, they wash away the belongings of the dead as part of a ritual. It's an understated affair. And the channel they use for it is here. It flows straight out, connecting to the lake outside the castle. I see. So we open a hatch near the Annihilator, ride the current, and we should come out right at the lake. More snuffy in water. Every time we run, why do we always end up getting drenched? I mean, feathers are a bitch to dry. Every time being our grand total of once. Well, <laughs> let's just hope we don't have to fight. That's the ideal case. That's it then. Hmm. Ready whatever supplies you need. Then we can go. It's a lot that just happened there. Whoa, visitor. But I guess our path has been decided. We weren't going to go into the castle. We're just gonna head over to Sword March, but uh... Considering that Kevis now has the ability to create annihilation events at will. Yeah. See if we can keep this up. Is there a good use and that? also intends to use that ability on us. Um, unless it's either us at this point, or it's Calm 4. There's a whole entire path that we could take over here. Whoa, visitors. I was hoping to just live and let live here, but I guess not. Turn back before it gets dangerous. 
that. All right. Once again, going going by the the policy of if the game straight up tells me not to, then I won't. Got four of them on us. Got a couple of max outs here. Let's go ahead and reorganize. Leave the enemies to me. Um. Upon us. Very poetic way of saying that, but thank you. Oh, here comes the black fog. This fog thing is something else. The great sword, majestic as ever. Where? We must be getting closer. Well, so something's going on over there. I'll just soak all this up. Moving troops through mountains or woodland tends to be strenuous. Let's take every precaution. Don't worry. I'm keeping a careful eye on our surroundings. And this is a uh, very different fighting style to finish out the uh, the stream here. I didn't realize that guy was level 45. Alright, well now that that's resolved, I don't really feel like dealing with more level 45 enemies here. have to fight on this precarious slope. That seems like a terrible idea.
How did I trigger? Uh, are you really going this way? Can't see any other way to the castle, can you? Don't want to drag our feet getting there. Be careful crossing though, yeah? Are you joking me? Afraid of heights, huh? Not afraid as such, but if we fell from here, we'd like die instantly. If my Nana thinks something tasty waiting on the other side, then my Nana can be brave. If we can make it across, we'll, we'll, al we'll almost be out of Mac the Wild. There's one more hop to get his castle. We'll probably have quite a good view of it from over there. Fine, fine, I get it. Just get this over with. Of all the ways we could meet again, it ends up being this. The irony of it all. We are bound. That is how I see it. Bound? That certainly sounds like you. You're talking about... Fate. I think that is how you would put it. Fate, you say? Why? Why did you agree to be reborn? So you know. There were rumors that you were imprisoned, that you took the blame for the colony's seizure. It was only fitting. And perhaps I should have killed you there and then. Only through death. Can our feud be resolved? In a way, I am grateful. Now that I've been blessed with a Pharaonis, and another chance. Another chance. A Pharaonis? This is for me. Absolutely. It's been tailor-made to suit your every need. The same goes for his Pharaonis. So, you better make the most of it. With what life you have left. Hmm? Huh? Uh. You've noticed, good girl. I guess they don't call you Silvercoat Ethel for nothing. What a clever thing you are. Those ones are a bit special. They're tied to both yours and Kamarabi's lives. <gasps> the more the two of you get heated up, the more your power grows. Oh, doesn't that sound sublime? Even though you're released from the struggle of life, your precious life force will connect straight to origin. showed me their image, but just who are they? They seem like soldiers from Kevis and Agnes, but are they human? Their hope. Hope? Dreams, desires, the future. Yes, they are hope personified. Indeed, they are your hope. They are everyone's hope, yes. I see. And there's only one choice. 
Yes, only one. Something I noticed about Kamaravi is a uh, little age tattoo, whatever you want to call it. It's all black. Is he older? Like, has he been alive for more than 10 years? Well, many questions and much story has happened over the last four hours. Just part of the protocol, innit? And still much to be discovered, but that will have to wait until next time. As we are at the end of our stream for today. So I thank you all for being here. Not a whole lot in chat today, but thanks uh thanks to Axe for dropping by for for a little bit and uh Sim Guy for dropping by for the second half. The next scheduled stream is going to be on uh was gonna to be tomorrow at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle. Alright, gotta do some more archipelago shenanigans as always. Maybe I'll be able to do a test of bumper stickers. Uh, depends on how much work I can get done on it tomorrow. But uh, that would be the ideal situation. Uh, next stream after that is going to be on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the, uh, the regular long run stream. Then we're going to continue our run of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Um, I forgot to convert the videos from the last session, by the way, so I'm going to be a little bit behind on posting videos for a little bit, but uh, hopefully we can get back on track pretty soon. But we did finish Chapter 3, so end the Chapter 3 post chapter 3 troubles so we should be going on to chapter 4 in the next stream following that is going to be the code the code creator stream uh wednesday at 4 p.m atlantic daylight time with uh, more programming stuff probably bumper stickers maybe something else we'll see and that takes us around the week round wheel to our next extra long run stream we're going to continue our run of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and uh, begin our infiltration of Kevin's castle. So, yeah, that is going to do it for today. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.